Welcome to Crafty Girls! Today we are doing the crazy gingerbread house challenge. Which is good because I'm in a bad mood and I feel like being challenging. Oh, like I've never seen that before. If you're new to our channel, I'm Annalise. I'm Rachel. And I'm Julia. They're fraternal twins and I'm their older sister. If you like what you see, remember to hit that subscribe button. Click the thumbs up. And turn notifications to become part of our CG family. Now on to the video. By the way, at the end of this video, we are going to be giving a shout out to three CG family members. If you want a shout out in a future video, please hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell. And put CG family somewhere in your comments. Let's get started. So the way this is gonna work is we're each going to build one of these cute little gingerbread houses. Well, that doesn't sound crazy, Rachel. But there's a twist. Our mom found some candies that you would not normally see on a gingerbread house. Some might even call them crazy. Cool! So we're going to start by finding out what our crazy candies are. down below. I love these. I got what? trolley sour watermelon sharks. I got trolley sour octopus bites. I got frogs. Why? Frogs aren't frogs. even out of their burrows right now. This is, th okay. uh, none of these are in season right now. None of them. Good God, Mom. For our next candy, we are going to pull again. I'm really, really nervous. Just keep breathing, just keep breathing. Two, one, three. <laughs> oh, I got cute ones. I got seedlings. I think they're bubble gum because it says double bubble seedling. <gasps> Rachel got crybaby. Extra sour bubble gum cry. I got smash sour bubble gum balls that are shaped but as tennis balls. They look like tennis balls. And for our last crazy candy. This is gonna two, be like the last three, one. <laughs> two, three, one. Two, three, one. No, th I have one. No, I'm three. <gasps> I got, again, these were also in the Gummy vs. Real video and I love these too. They are sour spaghetti. These are delicious. Twin snakes. I have seen these in the store and wanted to taste them so oh, bad. Oh my these sour bites, weird beards. What? I have no idea how I'm gonna put these on a house, but let's see. I oh. love what I got, but I am definitely not going to eat the gingerbread house after the crybaby's gone. I'm very happy about what I got, but these are very confusing. What are they? This one is a really weird, this one kind of looks like a lemon, I don't know. Hey, look, it says crybaby, caution, you'll only cry for 40 seconds, stay with it. We are going to start by assembling our houses. So I think the first thing that I need to do is glue my top down so um, it's not moving around so much. What do I do with it? Tastes like uh, Walmart decorating. Mm. You're right, okay. Alice. Thank you. Do you have to like do that with it? Do what? Eat it. Everyone needs to it's eat okay. their life, Rachel. You cannot expect everyone to starve to death. This will probably take a few minutes. We're gonna get them built and we will be right back. That works, I'm doing it! <laughs> Dancing, hallelujah. Okay, let's move on. There we go. Oh my gosh, no! Oh, don't slip, do not slip. We have our basic houses made and we're gonna start adding stuff. So cute already. Now time to get decorated. So these are the candies that came with the set. Traditional gingerbread candies. You know, we got the sprinkles and the little like gummy, not gummy, but you know, the gumdrops. Gumdrops, yeah. I was thinking about using a squid, it's like eating the house. Like, yeah, I don't know. You know, nothing like big, just some normal octopuses eating at the house, sucking up the candy, you know, just a normal. I'm a weird child. Of course you are. I know, I'm, I like it though. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so bad at this. It's fine, don't cry. Okay. I should make like little icicles around the house. 
icicles or icicles? Icicles. Ooh, I just got an idea for the crybabies. Oh no. Except I'm only gonna use the green. I wanna try crybaby. People say that they're really- You want really... to? Here, here's a gum. All right, let's go. You'll only cry for 40 seconds. Who wants to yeah, all try crybaby at the same time? No, not me. Okay, I'll do it all at once. Three, two, one. Is it sour? No. Uh, well, technically grass shouldn't be growing right now, so I guess it's some, gross. Get some bushes. Ow. Got some weird looking bushes. No! So the lemon has no sweetness at all. It's like, just grass. These taste funny. It doesn't taste like a real lemon, it's just like, not artificial, but I don't know. It's grass. Well, um, those are not crybaby. I really do you not like really it. No. But how come it says it's extra sour? Maybe like less sour? There we go, now I got some grass and some bushes. <gasps> oh, I have a joke for you guys. <clears throat> Did you hear about that light bulb party? It was lit. <laughs> what is that? It was lit. Come on. Find a better joke. Where did you learn to make ice cream? Sunday school. <laughs> okay, so we are done with our houses and now it is time to show them so you guys can see what we did. This is the Octopi Garden. You can come Octopi and see Garden. it. It's $100 a ticket. So on the front, I just have some candies and this red one was supposed to be the doorknob but I'm now thinking that it's too big. Then I have this green seedling for a bush and all of this for just decoration. They were supposed to be spaghetti. Then I have some octopus tending to this garden. It has a lemon, a grape, a watermelon, and an orange with grass and more octopus. On the top we have octopus, spaghetti, some random stuff. On this side we have some sprinkles. Um, and then to top it off, look at cherry on top. I have a seedling. And I'm going to call mine Octopi Garden. So here I have twin gummy snakes on my front lawn as lights. Here's my little pathway. These frogs are hanging out by the bushes and we have these for bushes. Then moving on to the roof, we have more snakes representing lights. We have gumdrops on the roof top. And then we have all these really cute little balls. Mine's going to be called Snaketopia. This is Shark Mania. Um, I have a bunch of sharks because I got shark gummies. So these two are playing tennis with the little tennis ball bubble gum. These two, I guess, are just guarding the house. And then these two on the roof are also guarding the house. We're yeah. terrified of your shark. The house is so scary. I no, really have to say, I don't know if you should ever invite anyone over because I think you'd scare them away. It's okay. <laughs> I will gladly eat all your houses if you want me to. No, you get away from mine. Uh, in the backyard, we have more sharks playing tennis. We have more lights. We have some icicles all around the house. So that is my house. So we have house one, house two, and house three. We'd love to know who do you think won this crazy gingerbread house challenge? Comment and tell us down below who won. I am the judge of this gingerbread house contest. And let me see who I think wins. Hmm. Oh, the shark house is just marvelous. I think this one wins. Big thumbs up to this brilliant shark house maker. I love it. I applaud you. Before we go, we have some more shout outs. So my shout out goes to Titanium Dolphin. My shout out goes to Creative Cousins. And mine goes to Julia Hashtag. Okay guys, so remember to comment down below who do you think won. I think I'm gonna put this on my kitchen table. And every night I think I'm going to eat a little bit off of it until I get to uh, my strawberry on top. We hope you guys enjoyed this challenge. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. We love you guys so much. Mwah. <laughs>